Hello, all my lovelies. Hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, whenever you're watching this. Um, ooh, y'all were crooked all of a sudden. Okay, hopefully that's better. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome. Love you. Appreciate you. Um, as promised, and I know it's a long time coming, but, you know, life happens, people. I can't, you know, I have things that I have to take care of, <laughs> as we all do. Anyway, this is the long-awaited Dollar Tree haul from Texas. Uh, there might be a few things thrown in um, as I was driving back from Texas. I stopped at, um, there was a, a little uh, smaller Dollar Tree next to the hotel where I was staying. Um, and I think that might have been in Alabama, I think. Anyway, let's get on with this. So while in, I do know while in Houston, the things that I got. Um, so uh, the first thing was something that uh, Karen picked up. Um, and she, I think she also sent one to the Dazzling Duchess. But it's the 100 Amazing Paper Animal Snowflakes. This is the coolest thing ever. And boy, is it messing with the lighting. Lighting. <sighs> really, people? I can't talk. Anyway, um, if you look down here, it's a template, and then up at the top, it shows you what the snowflake will look like when you use the template, template down at the bottom. Anyway, really cool. I am going to try some of those when it gets closer to Christmas. So I was excited about that because, you know, anything new, yeah, like it. Okay, um, socks, of course, you know. We all pick up the little socks if we see them. And these were the cute, cutest little foxes. I guess they're, we don't know, maybe they're raccoons. They're raccoons, but they're multicolor. But aren't they cute? I just thought they were cute. So yeah, and my eyesight, you know, is terrible. So, and I don't have glasses with me tonight, so they're scattered somewhere else. And um, of course, when I find pens, especially Pro Max or, I mean, Pro Marks or, uh, you know, name brand pant, pink. I might stop this and start over, but no, I don't edit and I'm not gonna do that. It takes me too long to get ready to do this. Anyway, so I found these, the multicolor Primark's pens. Um, I always like to, to find those things. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Karen pointed this out. Of course, you know, Y'all know me, I love, love, love coffee. I love the iced coffee drinks. I love any of that stuff, so love that. And along with that, she found this. And if the Karen, I'm talking about K is for Karen. The, you know, the Dollar Tree queen, the queen of the Dollar Tree. Anyway, and she found this. And these things, this will fit in her perfectly. With pins, whatever, so you can keep all that together. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. Um, let's see, let me go with this stuff now. I love calendars. I love the calendars that the Dollar Tree puts out. And um, so I found this one and this one's, I think, I think I'm going to hang this one in my craft room and it's called Enjoy the Journey. <coughs> Excuse me. And it started back in, uh, no. What is this? 2020. So it doesn't start until 2020. January. Lovely. So yeah, but anyway, it's beautiful. It's got all these wonderful, and I hope y'all can see that because of the glare. But the one for August says, strong, bold, powerful, brave, courageous. And sometimes I wish I felt like that. I don't, but I have to remind myself that, you know, it is what it is, and I am what I am. And the next one I picked up was, it's called A New Day, an inspiration, inspirational calendar for 2020, and it has wonderful sayings on it also, and they're all scripture, and I love them. I'll try to hold that up. I know y'all can see the reflection of something. What is it you're seeing? I don't, probably the calendar itself and the thing. But anyway, they're just beautiful. Um, 
I just love them. So, and it's like uh, bold watercolors is what I call them, bold watercolors. So I got that, really like that. Uh, now I found, a, I found something interesting. I have not seen it in my Dollar Tree here anywhere. I have six Dollar Trees um, within 15 miles of me and another three, I don't know, 30 miles from me, which I don't go to those very often, trust me, only when I'm going through that area. But I've, I have been looking everywhere, and I've seen some of the yarn balls and stuff, but I've not seen anything like this. This is called Fettuccine Yarns, Lion Brand Yarns. And it's, it, oh my gosh, I can't even tell you, it's uh, da, 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 55 yards, and it's, they're 11 ounce, um, what do you call it? Not ounce. Yeah, I guess they do. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> but I, I love the colors, you know, because they're my colors. Um, and it's got some yellow thrown in there. But they're, it's just rolled fabric. And what I'm, I have two of these. And with it being, how many yards did I say it was? 55 yards. I'm going to try to take these and make an oval rug. Just a small oval rug out of, or round, not oval. Of course, it might end up being oval depending on my sewing pattern. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, uh, I'm gonna try that. If I get it done, I'll show it to you, you know? But I was enthralled by this and I wanted to find more in that color and they didn't have any more. And they only had two of each. So to find it anywhere else would have been great, but I didn't, so I'm just, I just have the two. All righty, let's, let's get on with some, now, now, I want to save the books for last, because I did find a couple of good books. Um, I always, and this, this is from the, that little Dollar Tree I was telling you about in, I think it was Alabama. Anyway, more Wet and Wild. These are the, um, crease brushes. I love Wet and Wild brushes, especially the, um, shadow packing brushes, and these, Oh, these are the best brushes for crease ever. So I picked up two of those. I have like maybe three that I'm using currently. I also found these again, and I was really, really super excited because these work. Try, try not to blind y'all, but I want you to see. These are, these are really bright. These are great to have in your pocketbook. I have one in my pocketbook right now. I'm gonna give one to my, um... oh my gosh, uh, future granddaughter-in-law. So to have in her purse. So I love them and if I find them, I'll pick them up, but I haven't seen them around here in a while. So, you know, yeah, I had to pick those up. And then I found this and this is going out in front of Mel if she doesn't already have it and she might already have it. Anyway, I just, it reminded me of Karen, so I have to send it to her. And it's just, I mean, it's a nice, good, thick. It's that, you know, imitation wood. But it's so pretty, and it's so well made. And it says, Believe in Magic. And, of course, this beautiful unicorn. So, that's going out in front of mouth to Karen. So, Karen, if you're watching, you're going to get that. This is also coming to you. And you might already have this, too, but... And you might not even want it if you don't share it. Anyway, this little keychain. It just says unicorn. And it's so cute. And it's just one of those little zippered pouches that you can put like just a couple of pennies, quarters, you know, for the cold booth or whatever. And hook it onto your keys. And I just thought it was really cute. So. And then I call these backpack charms. They call them keychains. But I found four. I don't know if there's more. There could be. But um, these are the four that I found. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. And they're really good made. They're like thick, 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 rubbery plastic stuff. Uh, and this is the cacti. And of course it has the, the flowers up here on it. Aren't they, isn't that so cute? And he's got the little smiley face. Anyway, so I like him. And then I found the llama. Or alpaca. No, this is a llama because it doesn't have the, the fuzz at top. But anyway, isn't he cute? <laughs> it's just so cute. A little pink polka dotted bow. 
So I found him. And then I found the rainbow. And like I say, these are nice and thick. You know, I mean, they're really nice. Um, and of course, the little rainbow's winking at you. Isn't they so cute? The rainbow on the clouds. So I found that one. And then I found the unicorn. Once again, these are so cute. So well made and so cute. You know, and if you didn't want to use it any, you know, I mean, as a keychain or anything like that, but I'm not sure if I would trust it as a keychain that way, but, you know, the top of it's really good and sturdy, so, I mean, you could put your keychain thing through those. Anyway, I thought they were cute. Now, let's get on to some books. <laughs> First one I found, oh, my gosh, you know, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm going to wing it. First one I found was the official movie novelization of Wonder Woman. So, yeah. I was excited to find that. Of course, the price is covered up. You know, it's probably a, what? What do they run now? Six ninety five for this? I don't know. I haven't bought a book full price in so long. You know, so, yeah. Wonder Woman. The next one is The Awakening of Sunshine Girl. Of course, I don't have my glasses, so I can't. Uh, read it says the New York Times best-selling series based on the wildly popular YouTube channel about an adorable teenager living in a haunted house looks really good so um, yeah I don't know if this was this is anyway it says based on the YouTube web series phenomenon and uh, it just says a novel, so it's the novel based on that web series, so I thought that might be fun to read. Um, this is the continuation of the Psycho. Um, let's see if I can read this. Uh, this is called Psycho Sanitarium. It says, uh, a gripping thriller of the sort you see so little of these days, a marvelous combination of blocks character and attitudes that somehow manages to stand tall on its own two feet due to Williamson's total grasp of the original material. This is um, uh, the continuation um, about Norman Bates and where how he is uh, in the state hospital for the criminally insane and um, says it's up to Dr. Felix Reed to bring him out of his catatonic state. Now, can you imagine what happens when he comes out of that? So this is gonna be good. And this is uh, a no another novel. Uh, it's called Solari by Michael Johnston. And, and I can't read that, Lord have mercy. But anyway, it is. Um, it's about the Solari Empire that has been in power longer than even calendars that stretch back 2,826 years. So it's a historical type uh, novel. So anyway, I like those kind of novels. So yeah, got that. Um, this one is... Uh, let's see, what does this say? Uh... I can't read it. Anyway, Kelly Paul, forwarded by Paul, Rand Paul. True and constant friends, love and inspiration from our grandmothers, mothers, and friends. I just thought this would be kind of a neat, quick, you know, pick me up read type read. Um, it's got, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's got stories, you know, from people's grandmothers and probably aunts and stuff like that, um, women talking to women about women, um, you know, arrivals and departures, Kentucky Strong, Loretta and Keela. This is, uh, I don't know if this is talking about Loretta. Uh, anyway, it's just talking about friendship and, and stuff like that. And I'm probably boring the mess out of you guys tonight, and I'm sorry. I am all over the place, I know. Um, okay, it's very rare that you find a book like this at the Dollar Tree, but when you do, grab it. 
This is called Beating All Stars, and these books are really expensive. Expensive, and this one says they didn't go at the price. Um, Twenty-seven ninety-five is what it originally sold for, and it is a book of beating projects. Can't even hold it, y'all. Just, just gorgeous. And I do dabble in jewelry making. This is very detailed. Um, so, look at that. Oh, I just love it. So anyway, to find something like that for a dollar, I was like, yes, please. And I love recipe books. Love. I have quite an extensive collection of recipe books. Recipe books. But I found this one. It's Southern Living Country Music's Greatest Eats, show-stopping recipes and riffs from country's biggest stars uh, presented by CMT. This is a really nice quality book. And the price of this was $24.95 at the Dollar Tree. Look at this. The pictures are amazing. The recipes are amazing. Mm, that looked good, whatever that was. <laughs> yes, yes. So... Um, and it, let me see if I can find, like it's got stories from, like this is uh, Katie Cook. Um, she is, I used to be, I don't know if, I don't watch CMT, I don't get it, so. Um, but she used to be on my CMT. <coughs> Excuse me, my mouth is so dry. Anyway, so this has tons and tons of recipes and little snippets from the, country music stars. Uh, the recipes are what I'm interested in, so got that. That was, I thought that was really good deals from the Dollar Tree. Um, like I say, this is all from, from Texas and that little store in Alabama. So, I don't have um, anything from the local Dollar Trees yet, because I haven't been. <laughs> Just haven't been. But it's time to go shopping for fall stuff and things like that, so. Anyway, that wraps up the Dollar Tree haul from Texas and Alabama. So, that is all of that. Uh, thank you all for stopping by. Don't forget to love on each other. Be kind. And um, I will catch y'all in the next video. So, bye from North Carolina. <laughs>